Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paige and welcome to a reading vlog. So it is a Friday. I've managed to get my work for the week done really early. I managed to get it all done yesterday. So I figured we'd start the weekend reading early. Now I am filming a doing something stupid video tomorrow. So that kind of removes Saturday. So we've got Friday and Sunday to do some fun reading for this vlog. So there's two books that I am very intent on getting to this weekend. So the two books I 150% need to get to this weekend is The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. This is the main priority for the weekend and for this vlog. This is the book that I'm gonna be reading today and hopefully we can smash it out in a day. And then Sunday is gonna be dedicated to Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. I love these Arden Shakespeare collections. They're really pretty and more than half the book is intro, context and criticism. So we'd love to see it. I'm about halfway through the book, so I've read all of the intro and I'm just getting into the plot of the play now. So yeah, I do want to finish that, but we're going to do a quick swap over to The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue just to, just to get the reading underway. I think I'm going to smash through this one really quickly. Do like and subscribe if you like reading vlogs and you want to stick around and see more. Also do check out some of my other videos. I have quite a few now and yeah, just... You may as well subscribe, it would be very appreciated. And I'm gonna go start reading. My boyfriend bought me McDonald's. Oh, honestly, biggest tip in long distance relationships, send each other food or money for food. It's very much appreciated. And now I can have McDonald's whilst I read. So I have just been reminded that um, A, it's Friday, which means it's fancy Friday and B, I signed up to do a quiz tonight, which means I have about three hours to make significant progress on this book. I am only 30 pages of the way through, which means I will probably not be finishing this today, which means it's gonna have to be read on Sunday, which also means I can't get to 12th night, unless I drag this out onto Monday and you guys want an extra long reading vlog. So I'll decide that on Sunday or Monday, depending on how much reading gets done. But yeah, I'll probably bring you guys along for tonight's antics because it's a Friday night at uni, so stuff goes down. <laughs> okay, so I am about 100 pages in to Adi LaRue. I haven't made as much progress on this as I wanted to today, but I'm really enjoying it so far. There's a lot more backstory and historical flashbacks than I expected there to be. I kind of expected this book to take place entirely in the present but I think that was dumb of me. I am still enjoying the flashback scenes and the flashback scenes all take place in France during the 18th century, so I can't complain at all. I'm really enjoying it. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter complain that this book is very slow to get started and I'm only 100 pages in, so I can't really judge. I feel like the book hasn't started yet, like the main plot, this is still just backstory. I'm not mad about it. I'm actually really, really enjoying the backstory. And I don't really think it's boring that, I'm sorry, words have escaped me today. But yeah, I, just, I don't have an issue with it. Um, I'm not bored by the fact that it's taking so long to get into. I'm really savouring every word of this book. I probably won't get more reading done tonight, which is kind of a shame, but it is Fancy Friday. Let me show you what I'm wearing. So this is what I'm wearing for Fancy Friday. Just got some flares, some red flares. Just a normal casual bodysuit, really. Fancy Friday is a thing we do in this flat where we just put on our really fancy clothes and we have a party in the flat. And then we're also doing a quiz tonight, so we've decided to just get really overdressed for this quiz and go have some fun. So this is what I'm wearing tonight and I will bring you guys along with me for the fun. Hi guys, welcome back. It is now half 11 on Sunday and I weirdly feel up to reading some Adi LaRue. I didn't think that I would feel up to reading given I just filmed a 24 hour challenge that you'll see up next week. And you'd think I'd be tired of reading and a bit done, but no, I've been thinking about this book all weekend. Even when I was doing my challenge yesterday, I was like thinking about this book and wanting to read this book. So I've got to run downstairs to the laundry room and stick in a couple loads of laundry. It's a big cleaning laundry day type of day. 
I kind of wish I had the audiobook of this so I could listen and do my errands at the same time. Alas, I do not, and I don't particularly want to spend the money to buy an audiobook. Why are audiobooks so expensive? Can we please, like, talk about that? Like, why? Anyway, so it's an errand kind of day in between errands. I'm, I'm just going to do some reading. I'll update you when some, like, serious progress has been made or, like, when something interesting happens. It's just gonna be one of those days. I have decided that I'm gonna vlog tomorrow, potentially Tuesday as well, so I actually get to the books that I said that I wanted to get to in this video and you guys can get to see a bit more of like uni stuff and being online and stuff like that. So I will continue vlogging for the next few days, which kind of takes the stress off of me today. I don't feel so much like I have to read a significant amount today. I can just go at my own pace and actually enjoy the book, which is what we want. So I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Henry is so cute. Oh my god. Henry and Addy might be my new OTP. They're just so cute. Everything about this book is so good. I don't understand why people think it's slow. I want it to stay slow. I'm living for every single word. When this ends, I'm gonna be a mess because there's no book like this. I've just got to the bit where Addy and Henry have like spent the whole day together and she was able to tell him her name. Like I don't want to risk spoiling anything but Addy isn't able to say her name, it's part of her curse. And she was able to tell Henry. I don't understand what's happening, like I don't know where this story's going but V Schwab has me fangirling and freaking out because she was able to tell a guy her name in any other romance this wouldn't be a thing but why is this the cutest thing I've ever read and it's the most normal I can't <laughs> my school motto like the school I went to for sixth form we had our school motto in latin and it was just in this book <laughs> I was sitting there reading and I got to the section and I was like hang on I've never learned latin how do I understand this? And then I was saying that, like, seriously, how am I understanding this Latin? And then it clicked. And I was like, oh my gosh, school motto. <laughs> I did not ask to be attacked this way. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Well, happy Monday to me, not to you, because, well, you might be watching it on a Monday. Take this as a sign if you are watching it on a Monday and have a very happy Monday. Um, I didn't do any more reading last night really. I stopped at about seven o'clock, went and had a movie night with my friends and today is a work day. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and try and smash out all my philosophy work that I have to do for Thursday, plan out the rest of my week. I'm gonna bring Addy LaRue along with me to the coffee shop. So if I finish my work early or I just kind of not run out of things to do but run out of stuff that I can do outside of my room then you know I can wax them out of this but I do have quite a bit of philosophy reading to do so we'll see how it goes but yeah I just pop in let you know what the structure of the day is gonna be and I'll see you guys later I just got back it's like five o'clock now and I haven't eaten since breakfast so ignore my laundry I've been lazy and still haven't put it away I got all my work done for philosophical anthropology it was actually very interesting we were looking at uh, mimesis today which is an argument for why humans are creatures of the group and it basically states that our non-verbal communication came before our speech and that allowed us to form more complex groups and so it was really interesting work I've uh, been working on that all day. I did get to do about 100 pages of Addy LaRue and I was like in the coffee shop like tearing up. They just have the sweetest relationship and the explanation for why Henry remembers her was did not see that coming, really appreciated it. So my plan now is to eat. Claire Siobhan just went live on Twitch so I'm going to watch her stream eat and then read Addy LaRue for the rest of the night. I'm just having a chill night in tonight. It's gonna be very chilled now that I've been out all day, done all my work, and I'll catch up with you later once I've got out of this coat and actually eaten because I'm starving. I'll be honest, guys, <laughs> I'm not really doing okay with this ending. Oh, my boy, Henry, I really love what happened. Um, I don't love what happened because it's making me sad, but I think for the way this book was going, this was the only way that it could have ended. And we have like two pages left and I'm really not ready for it to be over. <laughs> the ending of this book had no right hitting this hard. <laughs> it made everything worth it. 
towards the end of the book I was getting a bit annoyed by the flashbacks because I thought we were having a lot of them and they were really breaking up the flow of the modern plot and weren't really adding much ending makes it all worth it the entire book was fantastic but it could have been awful and the ending was good enough to have still made it like a four star read but the ending I was thinking throughout this book that it would be a four star but no, it's a five star and I haven't cried at a book in a while but Henry just he's so precious I don't think there is a character as wholesome and precious as Henry is so we ship him we love him he was just he's a wholesome boy oh my god I need to go into mourning now because I need to mourn the ending of this book and I need to I need to just <laughs> I'm not okay. I'll see you guys in the morning when I've had some time to process. So, as you saw, I finished it and it broke my heart, but in the best possible way. I gave this book five stars on Goodreads and you can go see my full review over on my Goodreads page if you want to. All of my social media links are down in the description where they always are. I just think this is one of the best things I've ever read and one of the most interesting concepts and plots that I've ever heard of and it was actually executed well. It wasn't just a good plot executed badly. I will say that towards the end I did start to get annoyed by all the flashback scenes. It was kind of just breaking up the flow for no real purpose. I didn't see why the flow needed to be broken up. It made sense in the beginning but less so towards the end but the ending completely made up for it and it wasn't boring reading the flashback scenes. They weren't boring and it was helpful to understand the relationship that Addie had with loose. I will say that the relationship dynamics in this book are really really complex. There is absolutely nothing black and white about the way Addie views the world and experiences her emotions and I've never read characters quite as lovable as this. We really get to see Addie's growth throughout this book. Not just her growth over the 300 years through the flashback scenes but you get to see her growth even within the year 2014 just meeting Henry and how that propels the story and she is a really really badass character and I love her. Now I am a complete simp for Henry too. I loved Henry so much. He might be the best thing that's ever happened to literature. It, well, I loved him. He's just such a wholesome boy. Everything that made me cry about the ending was mostly just about how sweet Henry is. I do see what people mean about the pacing of this book being a bit slow. I guess some people would be bothered by that and if you are someone who really doesn't want a slow story then this might not be the book for you. However, I really think that the slowness of the pace is just A, exactly what I was looking for and needed when I picked this book up, but B, it really highlights the fact that Adi LaRue has all this time and she's experienced time in such a slow pace because she's been alive for 300 years and has the rest of eternity ahead of her. She has the opportunity to take things slow and time is a theme that's really played with in this novel and so I think the fact that the plot is slow really helps to accentuate that and helps you experience kind of what Addie experiences so I think it worked really well and I don't have an issue with it. I'm upset this is over and this is 100% going on my favourite shelf as soon as I get home. It just has my heart. V.E. Schwab. This is my first V.E. Schwab. Oh my god, I can't wait to read more of her stuff. I just in general cannot wait to keep reading. I think this is a great book to pull you out of a slump because all I want to do now is read because I'm just so happy with how this turned out. Big five stars for this book. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you made it this far, I know this was kind of all over the place and my weekend didn't exactly go to plan and I also did not get to read any of Twelfth Night like I was hoping I would. But it's okay, things happen. I hope you enjoyed my reading of Addie LaRue anyway. Do like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to stick around and watch more of my videos. I upload every Friday at 7pm UK time and you can check me out on my other social media channels which are linked down in the description if you want more regular updates about the books that I'm reading, what I'm liking, what I'm not, that kind of stuff. Twitter is the best place to find me for constant updates. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on Friday for my next video. Bye guys.